First all-time meeting between the Wildcats and DeKalb County. Top of the first, the Wildcats strike first. Bases loaded, Truett Kidd going to send a single in to left. A pair of runners will come on down the scores. The Wildcats now lead it 2 2 nothing. Next batter, it's T.J. Gobble. He will line this single here into right. Two more runs come on down the score. So Wildcats now lead it four to nothing. Move ahead now to the top of the third up six to nothing. It's Kaysen Smith. He will shoot a single here into center. Cole Schultz is going to score from second as the Wildcats now lead it seven to nothing. Now on the top of the fourth up nine to nothing. Base is loaded here for Caden Short. He'll line a single into right. That brings home Gobble. The lead is now out to ten to nothing. Still with the bases loaded, it's Smith again. Shoots a single here into center. Two runners come on down the score as the Wildcats would advance to the next round, winning this one 13-1 in five innings. The Wildcats and the Bees meeting up with a shot in the substate on the line. Here in the top of the second, down one to nothing. Bases loaded, Cole Schultz sends a single here into left. That's going to score a true kid, tying the game up at one. Still with the bases loaded, nobody out. Caden Short. Here with a ground ball to second. That ground out would score T.J. Gobbles. The Wildcats take a 2-1 to one lead. And Kaysen Smith at the plate. He sends a single here into left. That's going to bring home Caden Smith as the Wildcats extend their lead out to 3-1. to one. Jack Emerson at the plate here. Sends a ground ball here to first. He's going to beat out the throw for a double play. That allows Schultz to score to make it 4-1. to one. Next batter, it's Alex Bedford. He's going to send a shot here off the wall in the left field. That's going to score Emerson all the way from first. The Wildcats now lead this one 5-1, but the Bees would make a valiant comeback. They take this one from Lawrence County 8-6.